Listen, if you are making bets based on gut feelings, hunches, or even the fact that a team is due to win, I've got bad news. You're gambling. And that idea is exactly what sports books love and how they profit off of you. So what if I told you that you don't necessarily need to predict the future to make money sports betting? And that's exactly where expected value or plus EV betting comes into play. And as you can see here, this month alone, I have done quite well for myself using these strategies. The reason that this works is the same reason that casinos are using this whenever you go in. They know exactly what to do to guarantee that they are going to win in the long run. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how that works. And we're gonna be doing that by taking a look at this graphic that I've created for you. But before we really jump into that, what I really wanted to do was also shoot you over to my X profile where I've already created a thread on this. And if you prefer to read it, guys, this is a great read. I put a lot of time, energy, and effort into creating these. But also needless to say, this is where I post a lot of these positive EV plays to where I am continuing to just grow all of my different accounts. And it's something that is quite easy to follow and something that you can do for yourself as well. If you wanted to give me a follow on X, I've linked that down in the description below. But more importantly, let's talk about what positive EV betting is and exactly how we can profit. And it's really our plan to how we are going to win more in the long term. So anyways, with that said though, what is positive EV betting? Well, positive EV betting, again, in simple terms, is just the long-term profit or loss you would expect on a bet. It's not necessarily the fact of whether you're going to win or lose a single bet. It's about whether you'd make money if you place that same bet a thousand times. And the best analogy that I can give you, again, is think of it like the idea of flipping a coin. What we have, whenever we flip these coins, we can have a fair coin, where with a fair coin, what's gonna happen is if this hits heads, it's going to pay us $10, but if it hits tails, then we are going to lose $10. So really the idea behind this is really what we're going to do is it's like essentially all we're doing is we're hoping that we're going to win more than we lose. It's, it's, a, it's a gamble and that's all that it is. It, it's just hoping that again, more times it's gonna land on that heads than it does tails. Now, what we really see with these sports books is this idea of an unfair odds. And that's where these sports books are setting at minus 110 odds, just as an even line. For the over or the under, both of them are at minus 110, meaning again, that if we throw $100 up there, we're only gonna profit about 90 bucks. Which means, again, in simpler terms, every time it hits heads, what's gonna happen? They're gonna pay us only $9. But if it lands on tells and we lose, we're losing $10. So again, our value on that is minus one. It doesn't make a ton of sense, but unfortunately for sports bettors, what's happening is we think that this is a good idea. We think we've gotten ahead of the books because they've mispriced a line or they've done something wrong. Well, that's not exactly the point because at the end of the day, we're not playing our game, we're playing their game. Well, that idea can actually change whenever we are positive EV betting, and that's exactly what we see here. That idea, whenever these books are mispricing their lines, whenever that coin hits heads, what's gonna happen is they're gonna pay us 12 bucks. But if we lose, it doesn't hurt us as much because they're gonna pay, we're gonna only lose 10 bucks, which that positive EV on this 10 to 12 or yeah, 10 to 12 is an EV of plus one. Now there's a formula that we are going to be breaking down and this is going to be a series on the math behind positive EV betting. So this is a perfect time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that way you are not missing out because guys, again, if you are serious, about growing your bankroll, this is the best way to do it. So with that said, what we need to understand is exactly how are sports books setting odds? Well, sports books aren't predicting winners. They're actually setting these lines to make money. Now, the idea is there's only one way to win long term, and that is if our expected prop estimated probability is higher than 
theirs. Now, with that said, there's two kind of important formulas that we are going to be looking at, and that is implied probability and then this positive EV formula. Now, this positive EV formula that we were looking at is exactly how we came up with this one on this coin flip that we saw here. Now, how this positive EV formula works is that we're just looking at the percentage odds to win. So we're assuming that this is a 50-50 coin is what we're looking at, right? So our expected, our percentage odds to win is 50-50 for both win and loss, but our win payout is going to be $12 and our loss payout is going to be $10. So again, if you put that into your calculator, you will get a value of one, which is a positive EV play, meaning that you are expected to profit long-term. But the other side of this is implied probabilities. This percent odds chance the books are giving each outcome. Now, there are two different formulas that you need to be using um, with this. Now, this isn't anything that you necessarily need to calculate, but it is important to understand where these are coming from. Now, there are two different formulas, one for a negative odds and one for a positive odds. So again, if we're seeing here as an example at this minus 150, what we're seeing here with this implied probability, there are two different formulas. Now, we're looking at the absolute value. So again, how many spots from zero to that minus 150? Well, that is 150. We're not gonna put in the negative 150. That's gonna jack up the formula. So the absolute value of this, where that 150 is, and then we're gonna do that the same on the bottom, but then we're gonna add it to 100. So again, what we get is that 150 over 250, meaning that it's a 60% chance to win. Now with that, also what we're gonna look at is this positive odds. The positive odds, we are going to do the exact same thing, but it's gonna be a slightly different formula. For this, it's just this 100 on both top and bottom, and then that plus 200 is going to be down there. Now, how this works out for us, again, plus 200 means that it's least likely of a chance to hit any of those plus value odds. So that gives us 100 divided by 300, which is that 33.3% odds to hit. So anyways, again, with that, this is how we're going to apply or calculate these implied probabilities and these positive EV formulas. And again, I will be doing a much deeper breakdown into those and understanding, truly understanding how we can kind of use this to our advantage. And again, there's not, we don't have to necessarily have to calculate this on every single play that we make. There are a lot of tools and softwares that I will be getting to later on in this episode, showing you exactly how you can take advantage of this market, just like I do every single day. So anyways, though, the best thing, the biggest thing to realize when you're positive EV betting is that you are still going to lose. Even positive EV bets lose in the short term. Variance. The idea that you're going to win, you're going to be on hot streaks, but then you are also going to lose massively from time to time. But the biggest thing is, is to have that discipline because long-term growth is going to be greater than short-term swings. No one loves going on losing streaks, but guys, it, it is it is a part of the process. Everybody understands that, but just stick true to it. Because again, even with these 25X slips that we are trying to shoot for on price picks, we can lose 23 straight. Whenever we hit that 24th one, all of a sudden now we are profitable. And that is the idea for whenever we do this. And again, the biggest thing is 55%. A lot of people consider that a winning percentage for sports bettors. If we're only winning 55%, that means we're going to lose 45%. Those again may come 20 at a time in a row, and it's going to feel like this system is broken. But all of a sudden, you're going to go on a, a, a winning streak and you're going to get all of those earnings back. Now, again, what we're looking at whenever we're doing this and how I find positive EV bets, that is with Daily Grind Fantasy. And that's exactly what we're looking at here. And I'll show you another example of this. But all Daily Grind Fantasy does is it's going to use data, takes out all of the gut feelings to identify these profitable bets, right? This PJ Washington place that you can see here, this is on a prize picks slip uh, that I had screenshotted. What we're getting is a 56.9% odds to hit for him to go under 29 and a half PRA. The reason that they have this at a 56.9% odds to hit is because if you look across the rest of the market, all of those books are heavily, heavily favoriting him to go under. We saw books as high as minus 170 for him to go under this 29 and a half. But when we take this on prize picks and we throw those in five and six leg parlays, those are each of those legs with their fixed payouts are at minus 119. 
So we're talking about minus 119 as opposed to this minus 153. That is a massive discrepancy whenever we're looking across the rest of the market. Now, I did wanna show you their active board. Let me give this a refresh. This is Daily Grind Fantasy's site. And as you can see, they're looking at all types of things. We can see here this CS2 market on these couple, first couple of plays, multiple data points as we can see here. This is a really good one for us. This mass play going over 23, maps one to two uh, on the lives, right? This 55.34. And we're looking at underdog and hot streaks. Both of these books have this line listed at 24 and a half, which is currently one and a half higher than what we're seeing on price picks. Meaning that again, price picks is likely off on this. And now what we can do is we can also correlate this. And what how we correlate this is we look at the opposing team of this masked player. Um, and we would just, if we they were taking mast over, we would only take his opponent over as well. Now, again, all of that you can find um, on my X page as well. I've broken down how you can correlate some slips and everything as well. And I'll, I'll be doing some further videos on that. But again, this is all you have to do. And you throw these in five, six leg parlays. And that's how you become profitable. Now, the thing is, is you want to be able to do this over a large number of slips. You can't just expect to make four, five, six slips a day and be totally cool and complacent and say, hey, I hope I end up in the positive because there's some days where you might, but there's gonna be a lot of days where you're not. Again, you are not going to win all of these slips. You have to be placing 30, 40, 50, 60 bets a day. So your unit sizes need to be smaller. You cannot be blowing all of your unit sizes just on one to two plays and just hoping that it pans out. Again, it could, but it's not a profitable long-term strategy, if that makes sense. So anyways, that's really all that I have for you. If you thought that this video was useful, please let me know that in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like. Let me know again, anything down in the comments. My, my goal is to really help y'all become better sports betters. Anyways though, that's all that I've got. I hope that this video is very useful for you and I will catch you in the next one. I will be breaking down again, all of the math behind positive EV betting and doing a much deeper dive into some of these formulas as well. And if there's any other questions that maybe y'all want me to get to with this math, since this is kind of the episode one, let me know that as well. And I will be getting to those and hopefully answering those questions for you. Best of luck though. See y'all in the next one.